what you guys represent is that hope. We would like to particularly acknowledge and thank our sponsors who've been with us through the process, as your evaluation will help decide which teams most effectively fulfilled the Enactus judging criterion. During this video, we'll review what you will see in the competition you'll use to judge the teams. We'll talk about the judging tools that have been designed to assist you in evaluating the teams and we will review the decision-making and voting process. Throughout the video, we'll provide you with some general notes and thoughts to help you in your role as judge. Thank you. And now here is Desi. Thank you. Hi, let's get started. We'll begin with the presentation structure that you will see today. Ready? Each competition room is called a league. While you will only be judging the teams in your league, all the teams in every league are subject to the same format and the same rules. Each team has a maximum presentation time of 25 minutes, including an annual report. This is a master's. I don't know which university. I don't think it's a good thing to talk about right now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, so we got lots of things that are lined up. We actually have, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, we have a surprise artist who's already backstage. We've had a little bit of time with him. Just talk to him. We won't tell them just as yet, but it's going to be exciting. It's going to be an amazing afternoon, I can tell you that, because when he comes on stage, even me and Kule are going to get down a bit. Oh, yeah, Kule? No, that's what we do. Yeah, because uh, when minds are young and minds are fresh, that's when minds can innovate the best. And I'm um, honored to be in a room with young people who are ready to bring these amazing, amazing solutions to different challenges. So what, what's coming up next? Well, what's coming up next is another video. This time we're going to take you back to 2018. In addition to their annual report, teams are invited to distribute a membership directory, also referred to as a team bio. from Bindura University of Science Education. My name is Mboni Natsarikwa, Nectar's president from Moara Institute of Technology. I am from the National University of Science and Technology studying environmental science and health. My name is Owen Makanga. I'm from Bindura University of Science and Education. My name is Joanna Mukucha. I'm from the National University of Science and Technology.
Hey, hey. Aya, yeah, guys, no, it's not working. Hey, hey. How are you doing today? So, guys, let me just tell you something. You, you can never serve, serve your voice. You know, they're trying to uh, not say scream or anything because they're afraid that when they come up here, we will still hear your voice, isn't it? Yes, we'll still hear you. So, so say hey, hey again. Hey, hey. I like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, our Wi-Fi password. <laughs> now they're going to be happy. <laughs> So the, the login is uh, Enectus2019, that's the uh, Wi-Fi, pass, uh, Wi-Fi, and the password is in caps, boost, and then numbers 2019, so boost2019. Enectus2019 is the Wi-Fi that you log into, your password is boost2019. And once you're in, let's make sure we're talking about this. When stories are told, that's when the whole world can know exactly what it is that is going on. A national event is happening in here today. To ensure that the nation is up to date, let's make sure we go to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything, and talk about this. The hashtag is we all win. We all win, and for us to do that, we're just now going to invite Alan to come and tell us about our World Cup. Alan. Let's give a big round of applause to Alan as he comes all the way from the back. He's going to tell us what's going to be happening in 2019. Where are we going? What's going to be happening? Coach Taff, me and you should go. We, definitely. Yes. We will be the MCs. We will be there and we'll be going hashtag we, we all, all win. win. Thank you, Taff. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm glad to announce that this year's World Cup is going to be held in the USA in Silicon Valley. So the team that is going to win these competitions will represent Zimbabwe at Anactus Global in Silicon Valley this year. Good luck to all the teams. Thank you very much. Wow, Silicon Valley, United States. Do we have a video to that effect? Alan Chinanu is the business development manager at Boost Fellowship. Well, while they get ready with that uh, video, amazing, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. I didn't hear any of the... Who's going to Silicon Valley? Okay, I think there's a bit of noise from... No, not now. (laughs) While all the universities are on equal footing today, uh, Sekuru Taf, all of them, and they are vying for that sport to go to Silicon Valley. Well, what is exciting is that we've got a number of sponsors and we can almost guarantee that this is definitely going to happen and you might as well secure your position right now because it's going to be US of A 2019. And you're going to be representing your nation. Zimbabwe, or representing our nation, Zimbabwe. And what's coming up next, uh, Ruzio? I think before we get into the Enectus World Cup video, let's just talk about our sponsors again. It's always in this economy and at the time of everything happening in Zimbabwe, when an organization can still get sponsors, you can never be grateful enough. Thank you to Cabs. Thank you so much to Nedbank. Thank you to KPMG. TM Pick and Pay. Liquid Telecoms. Delta Corporation. Dairy Bot Zimbabwe. Barry Remote. Kefalos. Sidco. Provident Human Capital. Crystal Candy. PST Tickets. Maggie Brands. July 28. Lambot Boutique. Yes, thank you very, very much. We'll get right into the video. Let's give them a big video. round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So, our video is coming up later. So, let's just go straight to our... Uh, guest speaker. Thank you very much, uh, Coach Taff. I'm excited to be calling on our next guest speaker as this organization has been instrumental in uh, organizing and getting us here. They're one of our key sponsors. I would like to call upon Mr. Patrick Maseko, uh, who is in the SME department in charge of financial inclusion at CABS. A round of applause for Mr. Maseko. Good afternoon to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Before I say anything, allow me, just indulge me for a minute or two in what I need to do next. Keynote.
pitch. Charge. Now, I must say, ladies and gentlemen, that I found that section of your presentations particularly exciting when I was going through it when you guys were presenting. Uh, I wondered why you were doing it exactly. But as I did it right now, there was a sense of comfort that comes with it in knowing exactly what you're going to say and just teasing the audience about it. It's nice when you see the puzzles look on people's faces, but then there's also a sense of excitement and relief that comes with it. Now, before I say anything, um, I got a call yesterday from two beautiful ladies. I know there were two because one spoke to me first and then gave the phone to the second one. Don't ask me how I know they are beautiful, they just sounded like it. But then they told me that, Patrick, we need you to speak to us tomorrow at this Enactus function. And we need you to give us the keynote address. Immediately, I zoned out. And I begin to think about this very moment, the yellow tie the microphone, the speakers, the audience, and my mom. I don't know why she came into my imagination, but I thought about her at that point in time. I then began to think about the presentations that you were going to, making, that you were going to be making. And at that point in time, I hung up the phone. It then dawned on me later that I hadn't gotten the details of exactly what I had to say. So I called back, and I was like, um, hi, um, you know, sorry, I dropped the call, the network dropped for a moment there, but what exactly is it that you need me to speak about? And what they then told me was that I needed to give a keynote address, right? And then I said, what exactly in this do you need me to speak about? And they told me that, well, you're going to be speaking to a group of university students. And amongst those students, there are different universities that are going to be there, and they're going to be making pitches in a competition and on and on and on and on. So I then asked and said, is this actually a keynote address? or are we going to be giving them a charge on how they can go forth and conquer the world with their solutions? And they said, no, Patrick, you can even speak about what it is that you do at CABS or what the organization can offer to them. So I then began to ask myself again and said, is this then going to be a pitch that I'm also going to make like they are doing on what the organization offers in terms of services, or are we going to be giving a keynote address and all that? So, you know, the conversation went on for a while, and then I just decided to conclude it by saying, good night, ladies, because the call came in in the evening. I will just attend the event tomorrow. I'm going to sit at the back, interact with a few people, and then listen to exactly what they're saying, and then I will come and give a speech based on what I found out during the course of the day. So this is what I now want to tell you. The world owes you nothing. The world owes you nothing. There are so many pictures that we have heard this afternoon and this morning on solutions that you are proffering for, for, for problems that are there in the world. But the sad reality is that for every solution that you're going to be proffering now, that is going to be a problem for someone else in a generation to come. When Henry Ford came up with the car, he was bringing up a solution to, the, to transportation. But now environmentalists have got problems with pollution. So whatever it is that you have offered today is a problem tomorrow. But here's the other challenge as well. The world will continue to take from you. And when it takes from you, it's going to drain you. The world has got demands on your intellect. Clearly, you have spent months trying to come up with the presentations and the, the research that you have put into all this. And the world has drawn on your intellect. The world is going to draw on your emotions. And when all this is said and done, the world eventually takes you. Sad reality. Question now, what is it that is still within you that you can continue to give the world? How many ideas do you still have and are yet to give birth to that you can continue to give the world? That's the key question that we now all need to answer. Because when the world makes its demands on us, we still need to continue to exist and give solutions for all the problems that are there. So now, this is where I now then pitch what Old Mutual can do for us. I work for a company called CABS, which is a subsidiary of Old Mutual, and there are so many initiatives that we have got for the youth, initiatives that we have got for entrepreneurs like yourselves, initiatives that we have got for people that are just looking to make general investments. And one of the things that I think might be exciting for you is the fact that Old Mutual and CABS are coming up with what we call innovation hubs. I'm, not, I'm sure you're all too familiar with them, but never has seen one from Old Mutual. We have got innovation hubs that are going to be taking into account all the projects that you guys are working on. 
the ideas are incubated. I'll not get into much detail on that because you're already familiar with how these uh, hubs function. But we do have something on the cards for that. We also have student A plus cards that are specific for university students and certain high school and primary school students that can uh, have access to those. The reason why we have that is because when you then approach the bank later on in life and want to either get a mortgage facility, car loan, or whatever the case may be, the history that you have with the bank is critical in determining how our relationship going forward goes. The longer your relationship with us, the easier it is for you to access the facility. So it's important for us to get onto these platforms. And I'm told by our marketing team that there are going to be people opening accounts for these. How many of us have already opened these accounts? None. How many of us are going to be opening these accounts after this? Thank you so much. And just don't raise your hands for the sake of having me go on in my speech. But it will be good to meet you now and meet you five years from now when you're done with all your studies, if you're going to decide to go further into your master's and whatever it is in your education, and then you tell me that on this particular day, I opened this account and I've had a relationship with CABS ever since. That will be the best thing that could happen. And so when you want to come and you want to join one of our incubation centers, it will be just uh, easy flowing from there. Now, as I come towards the end of what I want to say, I just want to ask you one question. How many of us are familiar with the gentleman called Dr. Spencer Silver? Have we heard of him before? Just raise your hand if you have heard of Dr. Spencer Silver before. Okay, how many of us know a company called 3M? You guys are entrepreneurs. How many of us have heard of a company called 3M? Okay, I'll tell you about the company called 3M. Dr. Spencer Silver was a scientist in a company called 3M. 3M is a company that makes your sellotape, it makes uh, your bumper stickers, all these stickers that we see and the adhesives, right? Uh, now, a lot of you might have seen it, that in the rim on your sellotape, it's normally written 3M. I know a lot of you think that means three meters. No, 3M is the name of the company that manufactures the sellotape. Now, Dr. Spencer Silver was a scientist in this company, and he wanted to make a super glue a glue that will stick anything and bond it very well. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out so well. It was a low-tech glue that then came out and did not stick anything as good as it should have, and it was, uh, you had to press very hard on it to stick. And for five years within 3M, he tried to promote different uses for that glue, and nothing ever caught on. Up until one day, a friend of his called uh, Arthur Fry was singing, or practicing rather, in his church choir. And the little papers that he was using to mark the pages kept falling off. When you'd mark a page where his part comes, the pages will keep falling off. And for some reason, he thought about that low-tech glue that Dr. Spencer Silver had designed. And then they went just next to the factory in 3M. There was a pharmacy at the side, which just kept producing yellow paper as a waste material. They decided to try it on that yellow paper, and they began to market this within the company. And this is what we know today as your post-its. You know, the sticky notes and how famous they are. And that yellow paper today is still a registered trademark for the company, almost 10 years later. So what am I saying to you? There are ideas that you're going to be pitching, pitching rather today that might not catch on today, but incubate them. They might not be ready for today, but in a year or two, three to come, these ideas might see the light of day. So you never give up in whatever it is that you're planning to do. You never give up in all the ideas that keep coming. Another author once spoke about how the symmetry is laden or full of ideas that just never saw the light of day. People died with the ideas. And what we need to see coming from you are these ideas coming forth. If they don't catch on today, incubate the idea and let it come on later on in life. I'd like to thank you all for coming and uh, thank you in a special way to all the sponsors that have been uh, highlighted. I'm sure the judges will be coming as we continue with the program. And then as we go along with all this, it will be interesting to see who comes out victorious from it all. May you really enjoy the rest of the proceedings in this day today. Thank you. Thank you very much to Mr. Patrick Maseko. He is, a, is in the SME department and is in charge of financial inclusion at CABS. I like how he was uh, doing all those things yes, on that stage. That was like so cool, right? It was cool, but uh, not, not what I thought. I thought he was like wishing he could be going to Sil Silicon Valley too. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but the one thing that he said that was really interesting for me, he says he thought about his mom. Mm -hmm. Of all things to think about, but you know, crybabies always think about their moms, do they? 
Um, I'm, I'm just saying. No, just saying. it's usually highly intelligent people who think about their mom because they know their mom is like a fountain of knowledge. But Patrick, you, you may want to know that um, most of the universities are looking for mentors. That was an amazing speech, wasn't it? Come on, guys. Let's a give round a big of applause, round applause to Mr. Maseko. Just to bring people back a bit and talk about Boost, as you may know, this is uh, information that has been borrowed from a famous Facebook post that I saw today. So Boost means building opportunities on student talent, and it's by far the biggest and the longest serving youth empowerment nonprofit in Zimbabwe that strives to promote youth productivity through economic empowerment and social transformation. They turn 20 in 2020. A round of applause to Boost. So what we are seeing right now is uh, students who've come out and who've had faculty advisors work with them. Teams have been designed and community projects have started and they are set to empower people in need and to create viable business cases. So right now we're out here and we're waiting to find out who the national champion will be. And hey, Kulu, 16 to 18 September, Silicon Valley. Well, it's gonna be happening and it's a fact. I just need a thumbs up to make sure that do we still have the video from the sound desk? Do we still have it? X? No, we're not having the video. But just, I like the, the, what uh, uh, Patrick said. He says, no one owes you anything. I like that. And do you know how, I have another saying I actually like. It says, the world is your stage. So pair it with that. You are not owed a thing, and yet you have a whole stage to go and perform. And when you perform, it's up to you to grab the opportunities that come to you. Your network will be important. Don't go not talking to the next person because they're not from the same university. In 10 years' time, your network will be your net worth. And you will know the people from the other universities and work with them in various projects. Well, I also heard something from Anthony Hopkins. He says, and I want you to pay attention, my friends. He says that we will not make it out of here alive. So give it your best. Break a, break, break a leg. Not literally, right? Not literally, no. <laughs> Make the best presentation you've ever made, but the fact is that you will be able to get an opportunity to succeed because opportunities are for those who are willing to take them. Oh, yes. Uh, when we romanticize dreams and we think about the things we want to do, nothing actually happens until you execute. So... The sugar is in the actual execution. We should do something right now, Coach Taff. I think it's time for lunch. It's time for lunch. And so uh, this is how we will, we will do this. We're going to kindly invite the judges, the faculty advisors, the auditors uh, to join us. That's upstairs, is that right? Yes, that's upstairs. Did I leave anyone? Um, that is, the judges, faculty, advisors, auditors, and invited guests can make their way upstairs and we'll have the students outside. I have some interesting information for the students. You will have Innocent Kufakunesu, who is a Zimbabwean-born singer and songwriter. He attended Kutama College for secondary education and started learning the guitar there in 2011. He then became part of Pakare Pai Arts Ensemble and was mentored by the late Dr. Oliver Mutukudzi. He he also got his degree simultaneously while he was at Pakaripai in sociology at the University of Zimbabwe, and he is currently about to receive his first. Um, he's, he's currently about to release his first album. He has performed at the NAMA and Star FM Awards, and today he will perform for you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you're aware, we are in a church where we please bow our heads and pray. God bless our food. Amen. Lunch Amen. is served, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy. See you later.